And is that in coordination with the governor's office, or no, that could there's this draft legislation? That well, I, we, we've all been working. We've all okay. been sitting down and, and working with them. But in terms of there being a, a deal, you know, in terms of getting all the different groups together and the business groups and the unions and the lawyers and the doctors and the hospitals, there's no deal as of right now. Um, and then you get to the point where what is a deal? How many of those groups have to sign off on something for it to be a deal? And, you know, that's a complicated question <laughs> in and of itself. So, I'm sorry. yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Governor's PowerPoint. I think at the end of the day, um, whatever happens, I mean, I didn't see the governor's PowerPoint, but I know what's been discussed in the meeting. I know what the Senate's looking at. I know what the House is looking at. I mean, they're all basically working off 1066. They're all basically working off of our efforts in January and December of, of this previous General Assembly. And there'll be some form of that. Now, it won't be exactly. There'll be additional things. There may be things taken away. There may be things added. But they're all working from that premise and that general core concept um, that came out of 1066. I mean, that's uh, kind of where they all come from. And I don't, I don't expect when we get to the end of the, the road that there'll be too many surprises. The surprise is the bill to eliminate the workers' comp system, which I think that we could probably pass in both chambers. And so we're going to keep working uh, on this other issue. But I've still got the bill in the House on third reading or on the, on teed up to go to third reading been read a second time um, that I'm prepared to call at any time if these negotiations break down. Is, is, that, a, is that a serious thing you're doing or is that just a, like a joke or a threat? I, it's not a joke or a threat. We put the TTD in the bill. Uh, we could give causation to the business groups by doing that. could put it back in the circuit courts. Uh, judges, which would follow judicial codes of ethics and conduct. Uh, we could take the budget from the comp commission, put it into the courts, hire additional judges. <laughs> Uh, to handle the cases, and I believe that we can do it. And I believe that the system is so broken uh, that we uh, that's a real possibility to look at in terms of give the courts a chance. The workers' comp system has failed us. Is, I mean, isn't that proposal more making a point than that you would actually want that to happen? I think that I think that that because of the way it's drafted and the seriousness of the draft, including the provisions of immediate relief and temporary relief that are contained in that bill, that that bill, if it became law is sustainable and it could actually uh, be carried through and it might provide relief. We don't know. We know what we're doing now isn't working. And so at the end of the day, if that became law, I think that that would be a serious proposal and it could be a serious um, resolution on a, on a whether you call it temporary or permanent basis as to the issue that's in front of us. And when you say what we're doing now isn't working, is that from the business perspective because it costs too much or from the employee's perspective because they're well, not getting enough relief? Well, I'm looking at it from both sides. The workers' compensation system was created after the 1910 Cherry Hill disaster. It was supposed to provide a level of protection to business groups, but at the same time to provide an efficient and quick way for workers to get relief. It does neither now. Workers do not get quick, quick and efficient relief for the injuries. It's not an efficient system. The cases take forever to resolve. The businesses are paying higher and higher costs associated with it. It has failed everyone. But there are... 200,000 injuries on the job each year in Illinois, 50,000 of those that go to the Warren Workers' Comp Commission, wouldn't that flood the courts? Not if you take the Workers' Comp Commission budget and put it into the court system. I mean, I, I can't imagine that the courts could do any worse, plus you don't have a duplicative system, right? Because you have two systems now, basically two court systems in the state of Illinois. And so if you consolidated those and made a more efficient system within the court systems, hire some different additional judges. I mean, the court systems basically handle every other case in the state of Illinois, every other type of case in the state of Illinois, for less money than the comp system gets to handle just one issue. So, As a downstate Democrat, what's your reaction to the veto threat on concealed carry? I, I'm very disappointed in that. I support concealed carry. I've supported concealed carry. Um, I, I did not agree with the timing of it. I did not agree with uh, the governor's statements regarding it, and I, I didn't approve of that or support that in any way. How does that affect your ability to work with them on, on other issues? Does it does it impact it at all? Well, I think all a lot of us in the Downstate Caucus would have at least liked to have had the courtesy to know he was going to do it. 
Brandon Phelps essentially told us yesterday, you know, it's going to be hard for me to vote for anything, much less the budget, without this to hang our hat on. Uh, is that pretty much how you guys feel? I hear that a lot in the downstate caucus, and I, I hear that a lot not only in the downstate caucus, but throughout the Democratic caucus. And do you feel that way? <sighs> I am not happy about it. Well, I'm not happy about it. Because it's... On the tax increase for civil unions? I... I know that he was going to well, Ben, I vote on individual issues based upon that individual issue, and I try to make the right decision for the people I represent based upon each of those issues. But I think all of us would have liked to at least had the courtesy of knowing that it was coming. Because it's a sign of what? Disrespect or poor negotiation? I, think, I just or? think that we would have all liked to have the courtesy of knowing it was coming.